Hi, Ed Chasen with Internet Tools U. Today, I bring you a new tool that shows much promise. As an internet marketer, one of your common daily tasks is filling information on the internet. Whether it's about article marketing, link building, content uploading, it's all about adding information on the internet. So let me show you a slick new tool called SAC, Slick Account Creator. Why would you care? Well, SAC can just about fill any form you'll encounter and the important thing is you can teach it. What's that mean to you? Well, it gives you the ability to be flexible and agile, keeping up with your needs without a programmer. You can also grow your own list of secret sites while avoiding the abuse from every hard-coded automated tool that's available on the internet today. So instead of talking about the benefits, let me show you how it works and leave the decision up to you if it can help your business. Let's walk through SAC. Up here you have the ability to import websites, and profiles. Websites are imported using a regular text file, it's a list, and we bring that in. Your profiles, what I do is I give you a sample CSV file and you import this. And over here is where your imported website list is going to come in. Over here is where your profile list will come in, depending on what type of a list you upload. Up here are controls for the URL listing that's showing here. We can either add, we can add to this list here, or remove something in here if it doesn't show up anymore. If we click any one of these, what will happen, it will go right to the site, click the next button here, and it will go to the next URL, or we can go to the previous one if you wish. That's what these controls are for. These buttons over here, as I had mentioned before, where your profile is going to be showing, these fields here, where my mouse is on, is these fields. Another way of looking at this is we have a tab over here called Input Fields. And if I click, what will happen is you'll see the corresponding text field gray out. And what this does, it identifies where you're going to be filling in the information so you have an idea what these fields are named. And this is the whole power to this, is that we're able to identify, manually identify, and program in here as simple as checking a box, going back over here, and as you can see here, username, if you look in here, this is what's in your CS, pretty much in your CSV file. Password, email address. This is the captcha, and you really don't want this filled in here. If you have a field that's not filled in there, it will be blank in this area, and this is how we teach it. Well, let's close this. Let's say fill it. And as you can see, it filled in all the information. Put in the captcha, create user, move on to the next one. Let's take a look at a little bit more complicated site. Article directories are, have a lot more things to fill in. Let's go to iSnare. As you can see here, in this form here, you have a few more items than a typical bookmarking site. Let's go over and let's pick a particular persona you want to fill in. As you can see here, all we have now is the username and the email. Not much else has been checked off. Let's go to address. Let's see if there's an address. Nope. Let's go down to city. City. Zip code. I don't have that. Country. There we go. Let's take a look at what they're looking for for countries. United States. Okay, let's go over to the teach form. We're going to put in United States. States. We're going to save that and let's see if it fills it. There it is. Changed. The city that we have in there. And let's add a zip code. Since we don't have a zip code in here, let's create a new field which is up here and let's just type in the name that's there zip 
creating a new field and I'm just going to put in a five number thing. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For that, are we going to receive the news? We're going to leave that. We're not going to do any capture. Address. Let's see if we have an address. No, we don't have an address. So we're going to type that in. One, two, street for an address. Do we require a phone? Sometimes they do. Nope, they don't in this particular case. So we're just going to leave that empty. Say close, fill it. We got that. Last name, password has not been put in. Let's see why it's not. Here it is, P1, P2. Didn't recognize that was password. So again, this is where we have existing data and we have to teach it. Close it. Let's fill it again. So let's go back and let's try this again. Let's go back to iSnare and let's see what comes up when we say fill it. And as you can see here, everything's been filled in as you have designated. It doesn't really matter what type of a form you have. It's going to fill it. Let's see how many of these they're going to fill. In this particular case, we have to reteach this particular form. So let's go over there, email address. It took address instead of email. Not a big deal. And the password. We want to check that field. I think I've got it. Agree, I think, is what it is. Here we go. Close. Let's fill it again. Even the uh, yes, I agree to terms and conditions with all the necessary information and so forth. So you can see it doesn't matter what type of a form. If it's got things to be filled, it's going to go in there and fill it. Very powerful tool, and this is only the tip of the iceberg.